Hey guys, welcome back to the Plants vs Zombies Ultimate Guide. Today is the scientist. Um, he is the equivalent of the sunflower for the plants team. He can heal and stuff, and uh, he really does have a gun, which is basically a shotgun. Uh, so the scientist's technical wizardry allows him to warp in close to his enemies where he can cause the most damage. He can also drop a zombie healing station for himself and his teammates. The goo blaster is his weapon. His ammo is purple goo number two. Uh, the damage is spray impact damage, so it's like a shotgun. The reload is fast. The use is short to mid-range. Upgrades, same as anybody else. You've got the rapid reloader, which gives you quicker way to reload uh, you've got a higher capacity goo tanks which gives you more ammo capacity and then also there's a damage upgrade which I don't have unlocked yet which is uh, purple goo number six I think or something like that I can't remember exactly what it is we're gonna jump over to the character screen and uh, we'll show you some of his abilities so Warp is his main one. Warp is uh, basically you can teleport forwards, um, you teleport behind people, you can kind of catch people off guard and ambush them. He's got a very close range weapon, so warp is very, very handy to, to have on hand. Um, so for example, in this one, you've got the potted plant. Now you can't get in front of it, it will punch you. You can warp over there, warp behind it, and then shoot it in the face with your shotgun. There you go. And that's how the warp works. So the uh, alternative is energy warp, which you will unlock. Basically, you turn himself into a ball of pure energy where you can uh, basically just kind of float about. You can't get shot at. You can't do anything other than move around. However, you can't get shot or anything. So if you need to cross a particularly violent area of the map, you can kind of turn into an energy ball and, and kind of warp about on that. Uh, you've got the zombie heal station, which can be upgraded to the armored heal station. The armored heal station is more resilient, but lasts less time. Um, so the zombie heal station, I will show you as to how this works. It's like the healing pot for the sunflower. Place it down, it spins, sprays purple goo everywhere, and the zombies get better. Basically, is what it is. And then they'll run off to cause some chaos. Um, and then you've got the sticky explodey ball. Now, the sticky explodey ball, again, it's a very different uh, upgrade that you can get the mega heal bomb. Now, the sticky explodey ball is basically a sticky grenade. You can throw it at stuff, it will explode after a certain amount of time. Or if anybody comes near it, any plants go near it, you can also stick it to a plant and it will blow up after a few seconds. Uh, the upgrade is the mega heal bomb, which is basically just, it looks like a sea mine. And you just lob it at your friends and it heals anybody in the area when it explodes. But the sticky explodey ball, I will show you as to what's going on with that basically the scientists you can lob it at a surface it will sit there plant goes near it and then boom there you go and that's that so that's the abilities for the scientist we're going to jump into a game and i'll show you how he plays see you there all right so here we are with the scientist in game now you can see he's got his goo packs on his back and we'll show you the gun it's like I say very low ammo um, and you can see from a distance it's not great However, we're going to run around a bit and see what we can find. So, the warp is basically that. You jump forward, you jump in whichever direction you're facing. So even if I was running backwards and I hit warp, I still warp the way I'm facing, which is worth bearing in mind. Ooh, that was lucky. Uh, now then, also the other thing that you can do with this is the sticky bombs, which I will show you in a second. In fact, oh, oh no. Sticky bombs down there. Warp out of the way of that guy. Now he just got hit by a sticky bomb as he ran down there. Didn't kill him, unfortunately. But now at the moment my health's quite low, so I will drop down a healing thing. And there we go. And me and all my teammates can use it to heal up their health as well. So that's that for the scientist's abilities. And you can see his weapon and stuff as well. Um, like I say, real close range weapon with this one. Um, so thanks for watching the video. If you've got any questions about the scientist, then put them in the comments box below. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And also subscribe to the channel for more videos for Plants vs Zombies every day, as well as a whole bunch of other stuff as well. Thanks for watching, guys.